My dear children, we have begun the first lesson of EVS 1, the life cycle of animals. Now look at the pictures that you can see on the screen. The first picture that you can see is of a dog and its young ones, that is puppies are around the dog. Do you find any similarity between them? Yes, of course. They do look similar. Now the next picture is about a caterpillar and a butterfly. Do you find any similarity between these two? The caterpillar has come out of the egg. Yes, I am sure you are saying that there is a lot of difference between these two pictures. The next picture that you can see is of a hen with her chicks. Now the chicks come out of those eggs which the hen lays. The next picture that you see on the screen is a cat with its kitten. Do kittens come out of eggs? Oh no, you must be saying the same thing. Cats give birth to a young one. A small cat which is called as a kitten. Now you can see a beautiful goat with its baby that is a kid. Now these goats and their young ones do look similar as you see them on the screen. There is not much difference between a cat and a kitten, a dog and a puppy. These animals grow in the mother's tummy and are born from their mother's tummy. Now these animals do not lay eggs. There are some animals like crows, spiders, lizards and many other which lays eggs. Now animals like ants, butterflies, fish, frogs, snakes are all animals that lay egg. Now we also know a popular thing, a common thing which we all have seen. A chicken is born from an egg. Yes, my dear children, I am sure that you have seen an egg of a hen. Now some of the eggs of animals are huge, that is they are big. Some are small, whereas the others are very tiny. Now, you know for sure that a hen lays eggs and it is quite big enough that you can see them easily and clearly. Now let's see how the chicks come out of the hen. The egg, sorry. A hen lays eggs, right? And here we are about to learn about a new term. The term is hatch. Now let me explain to you what is hatch. Now as soon as the hen lays eggs, what does it do? It sits on the egg and it provides warmth to the egg. Now as this hen sits on the egg, the chick which is there inside the egg starts growing because of the warmth which is given by the hen and the chick slowly starts growing inside. This process is called as hatching. So I repeat once again, hatch means when a hen sits on her eggs to warm them. She is said to be hatching her eggs. Now you can see a picture of a cute little chick coming out of the egg. Now the chick is completely grown. It cannot stay inside the eggshell any longer. So it breaks the eggshell and comes out of the eggshell and this hen is very careful enough to take care of her little chicks. As they grow bigger, the mother, that is the hen, takes care of them and she is very aggressive because she is scared that someone may take away her chick and therefore she tries to protect them and takes care of them all the time till they are grown up. Now, there is a question for you. What are the similarities between the hen and her chick? 
Yes, there are many similarities. They look same. Then, they also eat the same food. They feed on insects and greens. Some body parts are also same. Though they look small, but when they grow up, they are completely similar to their mother. Now here you can see a butterfly on a plant. And the first word in the slide states metamorphosis. Now what is metamorphosis? Here we are going to learn about how the butterfly grows to be such a beautiful insect. Now as we saw that there are animals like goat and cow, cat, dog, those who give birth to young ones and they look similar. But here in the case of a butterfly, it is not the same. The young ones of some animals grow into adult animal and that looks very different from the young one. This change of form is called metamorphosis. That means now when the butterfly lays eggs, the egg is changed into different stages. We have four stages in the life cycle of a butterfly and these stages are in such a way that they do not resemble the adult butterfly. Such a process is called as metamorphosis. Thus we say that the young one grows into an adult animal that looks very different from the young one. This change of form is called metamorphosis. Now when you see butterflies there are various sizes and shapes and colors of butterflies in our surrounding. They are a part of our environment and they live among plants. Now, as butterflies grow, they pass through four stages. The life cycle of a butterfly has got four stages. I would like to tell you what they are. The first stage is egg. Lava is the second stage. Pupa, the third and the adult stage. Now, the second stage that is lava is also called as a caterpillar stage and the pupa is also called as a stage which is called as chrysalis. So we have four stage, I repeat, egg, lava, pupa and adult. We have two names for the second stage that is lava is also called as a caterpillar and pupa is also called as a chrysalis, right? Now we are going to study the stages of a female plain tiger butterfly. Now this butterfly, they lay eggs on a milkweed leaf. You can see on the picture, there is a small egg on the milkweed leaf. Now it takes six to eight days. After six to eight days, the egg goes into the next stage. That is the lava stage, the second stage, which is also called as the, what did I tell you? It is called as the caterpillar. Now, slowly from the egg comes out the lava, that is the caterpillar. And what happens to the caterpillar? As soon as the caterpillar comes out of the egg, it is very, very, very hungry and it starts eating the leaf on which it was. It nibbles it and eats the leaf completely. It eats it fast and it starts growing also fast. Nibbles means taking small bites as it eats. So nibbling means taking small bites and eating the leaf. So now you see a fat caterpillar over there and it is eating and growing also very fast at this stage. Now here again we are learning another word which is called as molt. Now in science that is EVS1 we have different terms which are used for different process as the animal grows. We already learned terms like hatch, metamorphosis. Now we have another word called molt. Now what is molt? To shed old skin to make way for a new growth is called as molt. Now let us learn what it is. Now you saw that the second stage of the caterpillar, that is the butterfly, was a caterpillar, right? And now what happens in this stage? I told you that the first two or three days 
there is rapid growth and because it grows it's becoming fat so the skin is no longer comfortable it's becoming tight and so under the skin the old skin a new skin is formed a new skin starts growing and what happens the old skin comes out the caterpillar sheds the old skin that is it molds it throws out the old skin and it gets a new skin this is called as molds now as it begins to gobble up the leaf that is it is eating continuously it's very hungry and this process goes on which process the process of molt is going on a second time a third time and a fourth time so all together in the life cycle of a butterfly when the egg is changed into a caterpillar the caterpillar molts four times and it remains in the caterpillar stage for 10 to 12 days then what happens then just after 10 to 12 days the caterpillar molts and the caterpillar starts weaving a button of a silken thread on a stalk or a leaf and it hangs itself from it now when it molds this time it forms a pupa the next stage the caterpillar is gone into the third stage which is called as the pupa stage which is also called as chrysalis as i already told you the pupa of a butterfly is called a chrysalis right you can see that on the slide now here in this stage it remains for 11 to 12 days and here it is the opposite of the larva stage in the larva stage it was going on eating and eating but here it does not eat anything and it is there growing inside the chrysalis an important change takes place in its body the growth is completed in this stage that is in the stage of a chrysalis and out emerges an adult butterfly you can see a beautiful butterfly coming out of the chrysalis the fourth stage of the life cycle of a butterfly now this butterfly has got four attractive wings six long legs and all butterflies go through these stages of growth so we have four stages in the life cycle of a butterfly that is the egg which is around about 6 to 8 days it is in the egg stage then it goes into the larva stage which is also called as the caterpillar in this stage it molts four times and then it goes to the next stage which is called as the pupa or the chrysalis here it completely grows inside and in this stage it does not eat anything for 11 to 12 days and then it comes out as a beautiful butterfly fully grown and beautiful with six long legs and four attractive wings as i told you that the butterfly that is the female plain tiger it lay, lays its egg on a plant called as milkweed but all the butterflies do not lay their eggs on the same plant it differs from butterfly to butterfly and we also should remember that the time taken by the larva to grow into a butterfly also differs from different butterflies the colors of the butterflies also differ some butterflies are long many type of caterpillars are also hairy so there is a lot of difference in different butterflies you can see on the slide there are variety of butterflies various types of butterflies all different in color and shape now you must have seen your mother placing some grains in a box she stores them it but sometimes when you open it after some days you find some insects coming out of it how is this happening now at times when the grain is stored in a warehouse or a grocery shop or even in your homes what happens is a female insect lays eggs in the grain and they are very tiny so you cannot see them the warmth in the air uh, the warmth inside the tin the box where the grains are kept has got some air and warmth inside and this helps in the growth of the eggs 
So suddenly when you open the box, you can see some insects flying out. Now they also have the same stages of growth like the egg, larva, pupa and the adult stage. So all these insects in this grain also have gone through the same stages of growth in which they are. So this is what we have learned today my dear girls. Now you can see the important things that we have already learned as I explained to you the hen sits on the egg to hatch them and then they grow fully, they break out of the shell and then the chick comes out. The four stages of a, a butterfly that is the egg caterpillar, that is larva, chrysalis or pupa and the adult stage. And we also see, saw that the plain tiger butterfly lays its egg on the leaves of a milkweed plant. Now we know that the larva emerges from the egg and it is called as a caterpillar. Now the completely grown caterpillar that is it enters into the pupa stage and during this stage it's completely grow, grown and it forms an adult butterfly comes out and it has a beautiful color with six long legs and four attractive wings. So that is all about the lesson. And we must always remember, my dear children, that butterflies are a part of our environment. It is wrong to catch butterflies just for fun and to keep them tied with a string. So better check out next time when you see a butterfly. Thank God for the beautiful creation and take care of your environment. Thank you.